we would be talking about the things needed for insect selection. So let's get started. So I have assembled the things in the table and I'm going to describe it one by one. So let's start with this. It is a sweep net and it is a very powerful weapon in the field of insect hunting and it is mainly used for catching flying and gliding insects such as butterflies, bees, hornets, dragonflies and I've made it at my home by myself with an old badminton rod and a piece of cloth. So you can make this. There are many videos in the internet to make this and you can use this by driving it up and down, up and down and right, left and right. So this is a good weapon in the field of insect hunting. So, so the second one is a pooter or an aspirator. So it is a mouth instrument, small mouth instrument used for catching soft and delicate insect which can't be touched by our hands. And it consists of two pipes, one pipe for sucking the air and another pipe for delivering the insect directly into the hollow space. So and I've made it by myself and I'm going to make a different video on making this. So you can catch small insects such as termites, springtails, ants and so and so. So in a hurry and excitement, you may land up catching an insect bare hand and it may give you a bite or a sting. So you don't want that, right? So a pair of rubber and polyester rubber or polyester glove is very very suitable for protecting a tender and soft hand so you must carry pair but I don't know one is somewhere misplaced so look at the picture above actually this is I caught this in 2020 but actually I was searching for big insects but I finally got up into this but I really like it yes I really like So the fifth one is magnifying glass. You should keep one of this. You can either use this kind of magnifying glass or you can also use this kind. So this is used for magnifying small insects such as aphids, ants. So at the time you cannot see it like this and you can take this out and magnify Sixth one is containers. You should carry containers with you. I usually carry three of three types of containers with me. The first one is for making pitfall traps. And if you haven't watched my pitfall trap video, please go and watch it, like it, share it, and subscribe it. Third one is for carrying live specimen. Just for instance, if you are on an insect hunting journey and if you like a beautiful insect you want to take it with you for observation at that time this is very useful i have made small holes in it for the gaseous exchange and the third type of container is for making killing jars kill jars so i really don't want to kill insects but for pinning them for preserving them i have to do it and a carry small bottle of acetone or nail polish remover with you you put one cap of it and catch the insect and wrap it wrap the insect with the paper and put that paper in it acetone the with that acetone the toxic gases leads to the death of that insect so this is very useful for making kill jars 
and the seventh one is hammer yes hammer it sounds a little bit weird but for catching insects in rotting logs for breaking the logs uh, this type of hammer this is actually a carpenter's hammer but you can use it for breaking the rotten woods and exploring the dead trees it is a powerful weapon in the field of insect hunting the eighth one is plastic bags yes the one with the jibs like this are the best this is used for carrying the specimen dead specimen or it may be live or or dead i don't know any kind of specimen at that time this kind of zipper plastic bags are best so the ninth one is a notebook and a pen so just for example if you encounter an insect you've never seen before at that time you can note its appearance such as size its colors its wings its horns so or you can simply note down the insects which you have collected in an insect hunting journey so it is an essential tool in the field of insect hunting and the last and the tenth one is a small side bag for carrying these items so we are finished with the materials so these are only the basic things which you are going to need and second part of this video will be I will be uploading it soon so please be waited so if you like the video please like share and subscribe to it that's all for today and see you in my next video bye bye